Hi everybody. So a lot of people were writing me and asking me to talk a little bit more about frequencies and uh, stay away from politics. So uh, I'm going to talk about that. Um, let's talk about politics because it can be upsetting, right? Because it seems like there's nothing you can do. And the truth is there isn't a whole lot you can do. Uh, our reality and what we believe to be our world and what ends up as our world is something that we all create together, not just one of us. So we can only be a part of that. And that can, can be frustrating when things aren't going the way you want them to go, right? So you have to remember that everything you feel and do, it does manifest, it counts. Like all those good feelings you have and those great wishes for the world, they count, they add up. They add up to our world getting better. So don't stop doing that. But I did want to say, you know, a lot of times it can tend to get you kind of depressed or defeated or hopeless because things aren't moving how we want them to, not quick enough sometimes or, or at all. But there is something that you can do and that's what I want to talk about. And, and that is look after your own personal frequency. Um, when I say that, I mean, all life is full of energy, right? We react to it, we deal with it all the time. If somebody walks in the room and they're this great, bouncing, good energy, it makes you feel better. It also draws you to that person. And people like that tend to be luckier because people like to be around them. And that's just how life is. And it's also how science is, basic quantum um, physics and new quantum science talks about how like attracts like, uh, like vibrations will attract like vibrations. So happy, go lucky, full spirited, thriving people pull into their lives good things. And conversely, fear mongering, hateful, violent, unloving people are gonna pull really bad things into their life. And that's just how it goes. The beauty of new quantum physics is it's, it's mathematical. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, that's new age. Well, if it was new age, that means it wouldn't happen all the time. And the fact is, this is science. It's like math, hard science math. Pythagorean theory is what it's based on, which is mathematical. And so when it comes to frequencies and frequency levels, there are different ones. There's low frequencies and high frequencies. Um, the Mayans map these frequencies and they also map them via consciousness and music and math. So you could put numbers on it, you can put feelings on it, um, but the bottom line is it's, it's a multi-dimensional energy that acts in many different ways, not a singular way like people tend to think of it. Like, oh, frequency, it has to do with hertz. No, that's just, that's just, no, that's just the earth measurement and understanding of frequency. There's a much larger universal understanding of frequency. So on that note, I was just talking about how we're all one, so we all create this life together. But what can you do just in your life? Because we all have to create the world together, so that means it's, it's we share the creation, and there's only so much we can do. But when it comes to your own life, it's all about you. It's all about you, which is great because you're in control. That means instead of going to a psychic and saying, hey, um, am I going to go to Hawaii someday? You get a second job, you save your money, and you take yourself to Hawaii. Don't ask people what's going to happen in your life, create your life. You can do that. You have the power to do that. So I want to talk about that because we don't use that power very often. And I'm not talking just about a trip to Hawaii. I'm talking about when's the last time you did something just to make yourself happy. And I know that sounds trite, but I don't think a lot of people even realize anymore what does make them happy. And that's one of the sad things about being an adult. Because sometimes you just think going out to dinner with your friends or buying something will make you happy or going on vacation. But it's not. It's the same things, and this is a little hint I wanted to give you, like when you're a kid and, you know, you used to love maybe riding horses. And you would get excited and you couldn't think about it because, you know, you were going to go horseback riding the next day. Well, that that activity, that'll still bring your spirit joy today. Chances are the very things that made you happy when you were younger, made your spirit happy, 
will still make you happy today. So if you're thinking, how can I make myself happier? I totally suggest pulling out something from your past that used to make you happy. Knitting, piano playing, watching football, playing softball. I don't know what it is for you. But if you do that, I promise you, it'll make you happier. And you know, that's what life's all about, folks. Being happy, being loving, you know, loving each other, taking care. And a lot of a sudden, you two do a lot of work trying to help this planet. And I just wanted to make sure that you were making sure you're happy because that's in your control. And that is really satisfying because when you go out and you do something and it makes you feel happy, it spills out all over your life. You have more to give everybody. And you're a great example for not only your children, but everybody that you come in contact with. So today, I am wishing much happiness on all of you. And, and get to it. If you're not happy, then go search and uncover the things that make you happy. Don't be satisfied with being gray colored, just being stuck in the middle. Don't be satisfied with that. Life has too much to offer. Pick a dream and go for it. Pick an activity that made you happy and do it. Anyway, everybody have a wonderful day and um, I'm wishing all really high frequency.